of, of the white man Jesus, okay? Caesar Borgia, that's, that's, that's not the image of the beast. The image of the beast, like I mentioned, you know, is the, the whole system, which goes back to the Roman Empire because America is the Roman Empire, all right? Reincarnated. So it says, uh, verse 15, and, had, and he had power to give life. Oh, I already read that. You know, if you do not worship the image of the beast, you know, whoever doesn't, they're going to, you know, seek to kill us in that day, which that's, that's, that's all of us, you know, us in this truth. None of us, we don't worship, we're not going to worship the image of the beast. We don't, and we're not going to. We're against the system, so they're going to try to kill us in that day, man. All right. That's why it says uh, in Revelation the 20th chapter, the, the souls of them that were beheaded, the certain men in this truth, you know, certain of us, we don't know if it's going to be us or not, but certain men are going, you know, die for this truth in that day because they're going to, you know, cap they might, uh, you know, capture us and then uh, imprison us. All right. That's what this scripture is talking about. Those that do not worship the image of the beast should be killed. For 16, it says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So, you know, this damn devil, uh, the so-called white man Esau, okay, they're going to make this a man mandatory uh, 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 implantation, you know. That's the hour of temptation when this happens. And that 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 uh, M A R K that's speaking about the karagma, okay? The the R F I D C H I P. All right. It says in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the M M A R K, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So that's why they're setting up this this digital currency, man, because that's gonna lead right into that. <clears throat> All right, reading on, it says the Federal Reserve's pay digital payment system, which it promises will help speed up the, the way money moves around the world, will debut in July. Fed now, as it will be known, will create a leading edge payment system that is resilient, adaptive, and accessible, said uh, Richmond Fed President Tom uh, Barkin. Who is the program's executive sponsor? So, this is that order out of chaos, all right? That they're gonna uh, bring in, because it's only gonna get worse, you know, with the blank, with the bank uh, closures. You know, uh, let me see. Let me get this one. All right, low one. I'm gonna uh, put, put the link for these articles in the description, but. This is central bank digital currencies and freedom are incompatible. It says the truth is CBDCs are government's attempt to protect this privileged position and exert more control over people's money. And this was by Norbit Michael in July 18, 2022. But I'm going to just get this. I'm going to skip to this. It says, uh, I already read that. But it says at its core, this brave new world of monetary policy was the new world, the new, you know, the new world they're talking about is the new world order. You know, that, that the, the so-called Illuminati, which is really just the, the elite uh, banking families, uh, you know, that's what the, their new world is talking about. You know, they, they want to essentially be like the most high on the planet earth. They want to be like, like, you know, the most high. They want to, be God, so to speak. They want total control over everyone, over everyone's thoughts. They want to read your mind. And these devils, that's what they're using AI to to do that. All right. They're, they're trying to devise, you know, they're devising, you know, wicked devices through their AI. And they want to, you know, control, you know, us. They want to put put their, their wicked, their, their wicked, uh, you know, Di digital uh electronic tagging us and they want to control everything that's what what they're what they're trying to do man that's their the wicked plans 
So it says, uh, what was that? Monetary policy equates to the government saying that your money isn't really your money. Your property rights are subservient to the pub- public good and supposed necessity of managing the, excuse me, ma- managing the national economy. Uh, Prasad doesn't really discuss this fundamental issue. He focuses instead on how CBDC helicopter drops might impact the central bank's uh, independence. All right. But that that's pretty much all I wanted to get. You know, the, the, the title of this article s- says it all, you know. <laughs> CBDC and freedom aren't, aren't, are not compatible. All right. It says, uh, oh, wait, no, it says that they are compatible or no, it says they're incompatible. All right. So, uh, all right, because I read the in, in Revelation uh, 13 that they're going, you know, you won't be able to buy or sell without that, that uh, the MOTB. So that's why that's why this that uh, title of this is Central CBDC and Freedoms are Incompatible. You know, they're trying to take away people's freedoms. All right, but the Lord is going to put an end to that. Let me get the, these other scriptures real quick and I'll end it off. <clears throat> All right, this is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse. I'll start at... Start at verse 6. This is talking about Esau, you know, beginning with their elites. You know the Rothschilds, the the Rockefellers, the the Duponts, the the Gettys, you know the uh uh build build Bilderbergs, you know, all these these so called elite families, which they're elite in wickedness, but they're they're the top families that they're you know. They're they're, they're who Job nine and twenty four is talking about, you know, this is. Habakkuk 2 and 6, shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. All right, and I already, I already uh, mentioned Uh, where is that at? I already mentioned the, uh, you know, America being in debt. That's what uh, that thick clay is speaking about. It's, it's uh, I bought, I bought, I bought ya. All right, I bought ya. And it says weight of pledges, heavy debts. Okay, and America's debt is like, damn, I don't even, I'm trying to think how, how much it is. I mean, you could look it up, but it's beyond the point of no return. Let's just say that. So it says, continuing on. And the scripture says, destruction to him that laid it himself with thick clay. And that's all the so-called white man is doing, man. You know, they just keep on piling up debt on top of debt, you know. So it says, verse seven. It says, "Shall not, uh, shall they not rise up suddenly? That shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them." And you know that's talking about the other the other nations, you know, like Russia. Okay, you know China. You know all of, all of America's enemies and also their own allies are gonna rise up against them. Because the scripture says, it says in Revelation that the beast shall hate the whore. The beast is NATO and the EU, and they're going to hate the whore, which is America. It says, because thou hast spoiled many nations, and uh, many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for violence of the land, of the city, and all of them that dwell therein. So these other nations, you know, they're going to, in that day, the, the, their hate for America is just. The Lord's gonna increase it to such a level that they're gonna launch ICBMs on this place and destroy it completely. 
This is going to be the biggest destruction that the planet Earth has ever seen. According, according to the Bible, it says, Woe to him that coveted the evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. So that's pretty much the point on that. I guess I'll uh, end off with James. Real quick. James chapter five. It says, Go to now ye rich men, you it's like ye, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Which is talking about the elite banking families. All right. And even on a lower level, you know, it's talking about these people in this society that, that that are, you know, that are doing good, you know, they're living comfortably. You know. You know, they, they, they don't have to worry about how much money they got in their bank account. You know, that's how that's how uh, set they are, so to speak. You know, they're, they're just set for life. All right. It's talking about people like that. It says your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. And ye shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. So all the the riches that they got was all by by deceit. All right, their whole money system is based off of fraud. All right, fiat currency is not real. Okay, and then when they turn it to a digital, uh, when they change completely to switch over to a digital currency, that's not real either. That's digital. It doesn't exist. That's not real money. That's what the scripture is talking about, man. You know, the whole system is just corrupted. It's all it's all bullshit, man. The interest that you know the there's uh interest rates, all right, and that's against the law of the Bible. You know, they, they tax you, they tax you for everything. They they you know, they they employ uh usury, they you know, and that's against as I mentioned, the law. So their whole system is off. It says, Behold the the hire of laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of, of the Lord of Sabaoth. So the, the Lord, you know, which that means the Lord of, of the armies. All right, but the Lord is seeing all this corrupt, all the corruptness that you devils are doing. He's going to put it into it, like it says in the book of Job. But that's pretty much it. Um... Uh, let me see. Matter of fact, I'll read verse 5. It says, Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is coming back soon, man. It says, Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth. And have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. What's well, when the Lord comes back, man, and when he gathers his elect, which we hope to be a part of. So, Lord willing, this, this lesson was edifying. I just wanted to do that. It went longer than I wanted to. But, uh, you know, call Allah, Yahweh, Shimi, Yahweh, Shai, Baha, Shimi, Kakudash, that wanders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone.